All right, engine looks good. I think this thing's ready to go. So I was just doing some work on the Dodge here this morning before we start on today's project. But you guys are probably wondering, what are we doing today? So as you guys know, I have this massive place back here behind my house, and I've always wanted to make a massive patio and maybe a pool, some other stuff back here that would be really cool. And I've wanted to do that for quite a while, just never got the chance. But today we finally have the time, so we're going to get around to that. Anyway, so we got to go grab the mower so we can get all this cleaned up, and then we'll grab the skid steer, take this down to the, some dirt, probably haul some gravel in, and then get to work on putting up the patio. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed today's video, let me know by giving that like button a little tappy tappy. It helps out the video a ton, so I appreciate it. Anyway, we're going to jump on the Kubota here and we're going to get to work. And then as well today, we're going to go pick up my new side by side. We'll do that a little bit later this afternoon because we have to head into town and pick up the supplies for the patio that we're going to build. So we got quite a few things to do today. We'll be really busy. All right, there we go. Lawn back there is finished. So we're going to go grab the skid steer and get to work on smoothing that out back there and getting it down to the dirt. That way we can bring some gravel in or whatever else we want to bring in there. And that should be good right there. Also, one thing I wanted to mention real quick, we are replacing the Chevy 2500. I don't know with what yet, but let me know in the comments what we should replace it with. But I do want something that's going to be a little bit bigger, kind of like the Dually here. I just don't want to rely solely on the Dually for heavy hauling because we are getting some bigger equipment these days, kind of like that Massey. So I want something a little bit bigger to haul trailers with. So let me know what we should get in the comments. Anyway, I'm going to jump with the skid steer here and we're going to get to work back there. And then after that, we're going to go and grab the TLX semi there and grab the big trailer because we got a ton of stuff we got to pick up for the patio, like wood, metal, and a ton of other building supplies. I still don't know how big we're going to build this patio or how big the set is that I bought. So I think we'll just kind of kind of have to guess on uh, how much we're going to have to clean out here. And there we go. So I went a little bit crazy here. I think it should be fine. If not, we'll just lay down gravel or extra grass or we'll plant some. Either way, it should work. And then hopefully today, if I have enough time, I'm going to actually finish mowing the entire yard here because, well, it still looks like a bit of a mess. All right. The Massey is in the way of the TLX here. So I got to move this out of the way and we're still waiting on the parts for this. So actually, you know what? We're probably going to need the backhoe for doing some work on the patio here. So I'm going to go take the front loader off. That way it's going to make it a little bit easier for turning around in there. And we have this kid steer if we need to do any front loader work or any work with a bucket, I guess. All right, there we go. That looks a little bit better. And we'll just park this right back here for now. All right, so the TLX needed a bit of servicing. We got that done last night. So let's jump in this thing fired up and hopefully it runs good. Yeah, there we go. Seems to run pretty good. Oh, there we go. We're going to roll so much coal in the building here. Let's get it out of there. All right, perfect. This seems to be running good. I guess we'll see how it does on the highway. But for starters, we are going to hook up the big trailer here because we got a lot of stuff to pick up. All right, I'm going to head into town. So I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, so we're headed out of town here. We're loaded up. And man, this is a massive load. I believe this has everything that uh, we're going to need for the uh, patio that we want to build. At least it better because I had to bring an entire semi trailer just to get all of this stuff. Look at this box. This is a massive box. But I do believe this has absolutely everything to build this entire patio. So we shouldn't have to get anything else. Hopefully. I don't know how I'm going to unload this box. It's going to take a little bit, but we'll get it. Anyway, I'll see you guys back at the shop. All right. Hopefully we can actually pull in here without wrecking anything like we did last time nice and wide here there we go we got it all right i'm gonna park this i don't know where i'm gonna park this there's not a lot of room all right i guess right here for now all right we got the skid steer with the pallet forks here oh just about smacked that pole this should do the job i hope at least we got the trailer unfolded here so we'll give it a try all right there we go we got the first two pallets should have probably took the one off the top it's sliding a little bit easy i want that to slide off and perfect set that down right here come on that down there we go got it all right we got one more pellet that we can actually unload with this and then uh the big one there that's just gonna stay on the trailer they had to use a massive loader to unload that and we do not have a big loader so we're just going to take everything out of it while it's on the trailer but we got this little pellet right here that we can grab perfect got it now all right and this is gonna go right here i'm gonna get to work on setting up this patio here gotta still bring that big box over here with the semi i think we're just gonna probably pull it in here or back it in here eventually but for now, it's going to stay right there until we get some of this other stuff set up. I'm going to call some buddies to come help me out with this, and uh, I'll update you guys in a little bit. Well, um, we went a little more crazy than we thought we would. So we turned the backyard into a bit more of a luxury patio back here. Uh, Yeah, we got quite a few things now. We're still not done yet, but for now, we are. We got the shed back here. We got the massive patio over here. We got a second grill station in case. Well, I don't know if this one's going to work out very well, because I feel like this would work a little bit better, but... 
besides that we got a swing set now and what the heck we couldn't go wrong with adding a pool so yeah we went a little bit crazy but hey it looks awesome now i like the look of it but enough about that we have to go pick up our brand new side by side which i'm really excited to go see it's brand new they got it all custom done at the dealership there was a few things i wanted extra on it so we get to actually uh go and get something a little more custom oh i still left the hood open on that dodge i gotta go close that and then after that i gotta come back and clean up the shop a little bit anyway i'll see you guys when we're in town all right so we just had to stop and grab some mcdonald's here real quick we picked up the brand new can-am yes you heard me right it's can-am from the dealership this is a brand new can-am commander and from what I'm told, this thing absolutely rips. We got the light bar on the front. We got a cool front bumper here. We got a few little custom things done to it, like custom wheels and stuff. And this one is a bit more of a work slash play machine. So we do want to do some work with it for lawn care or anything we can. But that's pretty much what the gate is for. But this, we can do some as well. Anyway, I'm going to go grab some lunch here. And then we'll take this back and probably take it out for a ride. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right. And we are back. We're just going to park this right here for now. Anyway, before we take that out for a ride here, I'm just cleaning up the shop a little bit. Make it look all good again, because right now, it's a bit of a mess. You know, you do one project, and next thing you know, everything's everywhere, and you can't find anything, and you have to reorganize the entire shop. All right, so we're pulling this old Ford out. Now, I haven't used this one too much in the past. I bought it, used it for a jar or two, and just kind of put it away. So we're probably going to give it a wash here, and then take it in for trade, as well as the Chevy over there we still haven't decided what we're going to get so let me know in the comments because I want something a little better for hauling this is fine but probably something around a 3500 or maybe an f-350 or something like that it could be Ford Dodge Chevy GMC I don't really care but let me know what we should get anyway I want to take this for a rip here because they tell me that this thing is supposed to go really fast look at that we got push start too and y'all know jellyfish launcher most important all right so we don't really have much property to ride but I do know quite a few trails that are about an hour or so away from the from the shop here so eventually we'll go out to those but for now we can just take it down the road hopefully there's no cops out here shouldn't be oh boy we're ripping yeah this thing's got some speed well hopefully soon we can actually get this thing out to some trails also a cool feature about this but you can also unfold this so it's a dump bed anyway i'm gonna get this thing parked back in the shop here and then what the heck we'll park it right next to the gator also a few people in the comments were saying that this thing could go through a ton of mud because i said this probably wouldn't be the best for going through mud that's why i wanted something like this for trails mud whatever and a few people said this thing would be awesome for going through mud and while i agree look at the suspension on the back you try to go over bumpy trails with this at any decent amount of speed all you got is front suspension it's not going to go very well this on the other hand it's going to work a lot better okay so there's one more thing we got to do before uh i call it a day I have been meaning to finish mowing the lawn for like a while now and I just have not got it done. So we are going to go finish that. Got to open the gate over here. Don't hit my lawnmower, please. No, it hit my lawnmower. All right, let's fire this up here and let's get mowing. Off we go. This Kubota is fast. It mows this like it's nothing. Actually, I think this Kubota eventually needs a service here probably within the week. Get it serviced. I might take it to the Kubota dealership to get it serviced. I don't know. It's just kind of easier that way. I'm not the best at servicing lawnmowers and you know the Kubota guys just know how to do it right We ended up getting rain the other night. So grass grows pretty fast around here It made it a bit of a pain for construction back there because Everything was wet and it was kind of sloppy But we ended up getting it fixed before I showed you guys all the fancy new stuff back there But I do need to fill this thing up with the diesel first because in need of some again, so Probably should fix that. All right, there we go Back this up over here and we'll get this filling up Anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the episode for today. If you did enjoy, smash that like button. Also, if you're new, consider subscribing. Hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see y'all in the next I'm pulling up the truck down at the dock. It's time to do some cruising, baby. Get a little stuck. It's a Saturday joyride. Percy.